now going to show you how to set the Unicorn Master System whilst using an external radio clock. So first of all, as you can see, there are no wires connected to the ring marker at all. Okay, so what we're going to look at first is we're looking at this port, which is where it says clock PC. Okay, and we're going to plug in the radio clock into that portal there. And screw up the little screws. Okay. As you can see, the radio clock is now in where it says clock PC and is ready to go. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to plug in the <coughs> to the ring marker the um, base unit where the pocket clock will go. And again, you just <coughs> have to put that in the unicode as you would do on any normal week. And again, once you've plugged it in, make sure that the screws are screwed up. And ready to go. Now at this point we don't need to plug the printer in, that's something we'll do in a moment. So what we're going to look at now is to turn on the ring marker and in turn that will turn on the base unit. As you can see, there's no signal at the moment with the two lights, and instantly you can now see that it's flashing, which means it has acquired a time signal through there. So all we need to do is present the ring marker to stop the beeping, and it will ask me again a second time for the ring uh, chip, and we're now ready to go. So now you will look, and you should be able to see that both the times are matching exactly and in sync. Now at this point, at this point, you can remove, and we ask you to remove the radio clock, because you've already set the time, and that is now ready to be used on another master system. Okay, as you can see, the radio clock is now been removed, and I have attached the printer into the back of the marker where it says printer. At this stage now, we are ready to do the next phase, which is to produce a strike report, which was part of the rule change for this year. So all you need to do now is present any member's pocket clock, and this only needs to be done once. So we present the pocket clock, to the base unit, it will then give you the option of all of your options, marking, assignments, views, arrivals, etc. All you're going to do is scroll down to where it says strike report. Okay, and then just click the green button. It'll bring up the option um, here with the time, etc., on the clock, which should also match the uh, radio clock, and at this stage you can check if you wish, but it will match. And then you press the green button. It will then say that it's printed. As you can see, it has printed a strike report, which tells you when the master had its strike, and when the and the method of the uh, synchronisation. That is what you need on the uh, before you set your clocks before the race, and you also need to repeat that process when you open the clocks after the race for checking. Those pieces of paper need to be stapled or put in with the. Uh, members uh, print-offs and then sent to your organisation's headquarters.